Hey everybody, Jay here. Welcome back to the channel. Today's another outdoor boiler video for you. Um, a very important thing to do is test your water at the beginning of the season. Yes, it's been a few weeks since I started my machine. I know, I'm sorry, a little late to the party, but hey, uh, fashion we might never hurt nobody. So anyways, without further ado, let's get right into it. Alright, so folks, you want to make sure you test your water about, it. well in this case it's two weeks, but usually you do it 48 hours after you run your machine. That's plenty of time to have all that water um, circulate, and obviously the water should be up to temp. So our temp, our water is at 177, so that's perfect. This is our test kit. I had a subscriber, Dale, reach out to me and ask me the test kit number. So I think this is the ones they're talking about, um, 598. I think that's the number. I don't remember the comment. I get a lot of comments, so. Uh, Dale, let me know if there was a callback or issue with this test kit. But anyways, we're gonna roll with it. So this is the Molly PH test kit. For those of you who consistently follow the channel, we um, converted. We drained our machine last year and we added the new Molly Armor System by Central Boiler. It's their new corrosion inhibitor with fresh water screened through a uh, sediment filter. So, needless to say, water should be good, but we're gonna test it anyway. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill up this little cup here. Uh, there's 400 gallons in here. So what you wanna do is you wanna drain out about a quart of water, fill up your container, slosh it around, dump that out, and refill it again, because you don't want any uh, tap water or anything to contaminate your um, your sample system. So without further ado, let's show you how to do that. This is a Central Boiler 6048 Classic, and that's what we're gonna be testing the water on. It's really quite simple. Up to the right of the door here, um, hold on here, need a third hand. This is our uh, test tube here. Uh, I'm gonna pop this off here and just do this. Uh, but anyways, let me pop this rubber, rubber cap off here, place it here, and we're gonna drain out about a quart of water. You want to be careful because this is uh, this is some hot stuff. So we're gonna drain out about a quart, give or take, guesstimation. This is what they call again a quart out of three four hundred gallons isn't gonna make or break the bank. So um, I think that's probably good. So what we're gonna do is again this water is 180 degrees, so be careful. We're going to fill up our little cup here. We're going to splash this around. And we're going to drain it. So now the only residue we have in our cup is the molly armor. So once this is full, we're going to go bring it into the uh, shed and test it. Woo, that's some hot stuff. Yeah, you should probably wear gloves before you do that um, <laughs> because that water was hot. So again, we're gonna fish this back through where it's supposed to be, um, through our little band clamp here and back on, put our rubber test back on, and yeah, let's go in the shed, uh, let's go in the shed now. All right, folks, we're actually gonna use our beautiful brand new outdoor bench. So this is Molly PH test kit, test kit part number 2500598. Treat system with Molly armor to a minimum of 350 parts per million. So again, let's go ahead, take this out. These, this is your color chart here. So we're gonna, Lay everything out here so you guys can uh, can see everything pretty clear. What do we have in here? So let's read the instructions here. This is uh, the test strips. Dip test strip and remove after one second. Shake off excess liquid compared to color chart within 10 seconds here. So without further ado, folks, um, we're going to use both kits here. We have two, um, two test strips here. So why don't we do this one first? Again, there's no editing here. This is only, uh, so if you look at the very end there, there's a little cloth patch. So again, dip, one Mississippi. Shake it off. Hopefully you're in focus here. That is to me about 300, 300 or right around 300 to 350. I'd say more towards 350 um, parts per million. So that's good. If we were up in the clear here, um, that would be bad, but hopefully you can see here. We are right at the 350 mark, which is no surprise here because um, our uh, We did it last year. So that's good. That's good to know. So again, give you another look there 350 parts per million 
or right in that ballpark region. So yes, without further ado, folks, that should be about it. So let's check our pH now. So pH is one to 12, uh, 15 pH test strips. So let's see where our uh, pH is at. Try not to contaminate these. So again, we're gonna pull, pull one off of here, put it back. and see where our pH is at. Now hopefully you can see, this is at about a nine, I would say. So we're gonna take both our results and we're gonna stop in at the central boiler dealer uh, and we're gonna compare our results. But that's what we have for pH. We have about a nine. Let me put that down there. And then like I said, we're, we are right at, um, 350 for parts per million. So that makes sense. So our water is good. And that's no surprise there because we just changed it uh, last year. If we had an issue, I would actually be surprised. So yeah, let's wrap up. All right, folks. So I appreciate you guys watching. That's how you test uh, if your water is treated with the Molly Armor on your outdoor boiler. That is how you test your water. Um, what I'm going to do and what I recommend you doing is, is have a fail safe. So again, grab a new container, repeat the same process, and bring it, or I believe the new new machine, Central Boiler, actually tells you to send it in. So make sure you follow all your water testing because that is your best protection against any issues that arise because having crap water in your machine is the easiest way to destroy it. Um, so yeah, without further ado, folks, like I said, I'm going to take this, stop in at the local stove shop, and um, have it retested, compare results. It all should be the same. And yeah, like I said, like I always say, um, a little maintenance goes a long way. So appreciate you guys watching. Let me know what you think and uh, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. This is pretty much how you test your water on your central boiler outdoor furnace. Um, doesn't hurt to test it three times a year, beginning of the year, mid season, and at the end of the year. What did, it, what did this video, I think we're at like five minutes maybe. So uh, five minutes will save, will make or break your machine. So yeah. With anyways, without further ado, glad to help. Any questions, leave them in the comments below. Um, make sure you find out what parts per million, what range your machine should be at. Some boilers, not all boilers are created the same. Some have different water temps and, and pH levels and all that jazz. So make sure you find out what your exact model calls for. Don't just compare, unless you have the same machine, unless you have a 6048 Classic by Central Boiler. Um, Make sure you read your owner's manual and do all the due diligence, as I always say. So thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you think. And like I always say, we will see you out in the woods.